Hi guys, today I'll be teaching the most crucial mathematical computation used in cryptography and it is known as modular arithmetic. If you are someone who does not know anything about modular arithmetic, no worries. If you view this video completely by the end of this video, you will become a expert in solving all the modular arithmetic questions. So let us first see what is modular arithmetic. So as I mentioned, modular arithmetic is the most important computation used in cryptography. Now, why do we use modular arithmetic? That part we'll see in the next video. I'm going to make a separate video just to understand why do we require modular arithmetic in cryptography. In this video, we are just going to focus on how to solve the numericals of modular arithmetic. How are the questions on modular arithmetic represented? They are represented as A mod B. It can also be shown as A percent B. So, percentage sign represents mod operation. What is the answer? So A mod B is results in an answer C. Now what is C? C is basically the remainder which is obtained after dividing one number by another. C is the remainder obtained by doing A divided by B. And moreover, C is always between 0 and b minus 1. So you will always get the answer between 0 to b minus 1. And we use these operations in many cryptographic applications such as scissor cipher and RSA, ECC and many more. Let us now check out on the type of questions that are asked. You may be asked to find modulus of a positive number which is given as a mod b. You may be asked to find modulus of negative number a minus a mod b. You may be asked to find modulus of an exponent which is given as a raised to the power of x mod b and modulus multiplicative inverse. You may be asked what is a inverse mod b. So we have to find answer to each of these kind of questions. In this video, I am going to explain you how to find modulus of a positive number, how to find modulus of a negative number. In the next video, I shall explain you how to find the modulus of exponent and the multiplicative inverse. So, I will make a separate video for modulus exponent. I will make a separate video for modulus inverse. And today I'll be focusing on positive and negative numbers. So we'll now check out the answer of 5 mod 7. So as I told you, if I want to do A mod B, the answer is C. Well, C is nothing but it is the remainder which is obtained by doing A divided by B. And it is always between 0 to b minus 1. Now keeping this in mind, so I have to find the answer of 5 mod 7. So I will divide the number 5 with 7. So I have to divide a that is 5 with b that is 7. Now as we know 5 does not appear in multiplicative table of 7. So we will do 7 zeros are and the remainder is 5. So my answer to this question is 5 mod 7 is equal to 5 or vice versa you can remember that whenever you are asked a mod b and a is less than b then the answer of a mod b is directly equal to a okay so a mod b is equal to a if a is less than b so a mod b is equal to a if a is less than b. Now here a that is 21 is larger than 7. So we have to divide a that is 21 by 7. So in the multiplication table of 7 we have 7 into 3 is 21. So our remainder is 0. So this is my remainder and that is my final answer. So 21 mod 7 is equal to 0. Now let us see the next question. Instead of 21, 
if I have 22. So 22 mod 7. So first you have to check is this A greater than 7? Yes. So A is greater than 7. That means I am supposed to divide A by B. Now, so how will it be divided? So 7 into 3 results in 21. What is the remainder? The remainder is 1. Therefore, this is the, the remainder itself is your answer. Always, the remainder of the division is your answer. So, 22 mod 7 will result in answer 1. Let us see another question. I have 53 mod 13. So, A mod B and A is greater than B. Since A is greater than B, I will divide 53 with 13. Now, you will require the multiplication table for 13. So, you will check in the table where we get a number which is less than 53. So, it is 13 into 4 is 52. So, 13 into 4 results in 52. So, our remainder is 1. So, this is my answer. And hence, I will write 53 mod 13 is equal to 1. So, the answer of 53 mod 13 is 1. Now, coming to another question where we have suppose a very large number. First is you are going to check you want A mod B. So, you are going to check is A greater than 13? Yes. So, I want to now divide 255 with 13. But the table that I know is only till 12. Then what are you going to do? In that case, you use your calculator and then do the following. Step 1, on the calculator, you do 255 divided by 13. So, you will get the answer as 19.60. Then step 2. So if you don't know multiplication table, you follow these steps. Step 2, you take this number before the decimal point and multiply it by 13 and check what is the answer you are getting. So we get it as 247. So I come to this division now. So 2, 13 into 19 is 247. And therefore, now the remainder that I get is 8. Therefore, so once you get the remainder, that is your answer. And the answer is always between 0 to B minus 1. What is B in this case? It is 13. So our answer here is 0 to 12. So this is my answer. So 255 mod 13, we got the answer as Eight. Okay. So, let us try out more such questions. So, let me say I want to solve this particular question. A which is 5109 mod B which is 7 and A is much much greater than 7. And I, I cannot go on solving the multiplication table to do this. So, what do I do? So, I am repeating the procedure which I have done in the previous slide. So, what you are going to do? You are going to do step 1. What is your step 1? You will do 5109 divided by 7 on calculator. The answer to this will come out as 729.85. Then in step 2, what you are going to do? You take this number which is before the decimal point, 729, multiply it with 7 and check out what is the answer. You will get it as 5103. Then in step 3, you perform the division. Okay. So 5109, I want to divide it by 7. So 7 into 729 results in 5103. So if I check out the remainder, the remainder of this is 6. So 51. So remainder is always your final answer. So, 5109 mod 7 is equal to 6. So, this is how you solve any question. If you do not know multiplication table, you use your calculator and solve it accordingly using the steps. So, in 
Step 1, you have to divide A with B. Check out what is the answer on calculator. Then take the number before the decimal point and multiply it with, with B. Check out the number and do the division and then get the remainder. The remainder is your answer. So this was the set of questions for modulus of positive number. Let us now solve modulus of negative number. Solving modulus of negative number is very easy. You should take A. You should add 7B to it. That is minus 11 plus and what is the answer? Minus 4. So I again got a negative number. Because I got a negative number, again I should add 7, that is B to it. The answer to this is 3. So I got a positive number. So I got a positive number. And it is between 0 to b minus 1 so in our case b is 7 so 0 to 6 so this is my final answer this is my answer so minus 11 mod 7 is equal to 3 so what are the steps that i followed we have to we have to we have to add b to a unless and until We get a positive number and it has to be between 0 to b minus 1. So if you follow this step, you can get the modulus of any negative number. So you add b to a and do this unless and until you get a positive number which is between 0 to b minus 1. Let us try to solve more such questions. So I want minus 17 mod 10. So I will take minus 7 a. I will add b to it. The answer that I got is minus 7. Now it is negative. So what do I do? Again add b. So I add 10 to it. Now what do I get? Minus 10 plus minus 7 plus 10. 3. So since 3 is positive, since this is positive and it is between 0 to 9, 3 is my final answer. So minus 17 mod 10, the answer is 3. Okay. Let us solve more such questions now. So let me say I have to solve minus 24 mod 26. So how will I do? Minus 24. It is a negative number. So you have to add B. That is 26 to it. When you do this, you get the answer as 2. So this is a positive number. And moreover, it is between 0 to B minus 1. What is B minus 1? 25. So between this. So this is my final answer. So 2 is my answer. So minus 24 mod 26 will result in 2. Let us try to solve this example now. So I want minus 15 mod 7. So I will take minus 15 and I will add 7 to it. The answer that you get will be minus 15 plus 7 is 8. Now as I told you when you get an answer you have to first check. Is it positive? It is positive number. The next question you should ask is, is it between 0 to B minus 1? Or what is B minus 1 in this case? B is 7. So B minus 1 will be 6. But it is not between 0 to B minus 1. That is 0 to 7 minus 1. That is 0 to 6. Okay. Therefore, this is not the answer. We have to go ahead now. What to do? Now, we got 8. So, again, you will perform 8 mod 7. And you all know how to do 8 mod 7. You just have to take 8 divided by 7. 7 ones are 7. And the remainder is 1. So, this is your final answer. So, minus 15 mod 7 is equal to 1. 
so if you come across a positive number which is greater than b then do modulus operation again till you get the remainder between 0 to b minus 1 let us try solving this question now so minus 18 mod 8 so minus 18 plus 8 i get minus 10 it is a negative number so you have to add, add again plus 8 so you get minus 2 which is again a negative number so again add 8 and you get the answer as 6 so the answer of minus 18 mod 8 is equal to 6 let us take a last example which is negative and a number larger than 13 so what do we do we ne place negative before the bracket and solve 5049 mod 13 same way as we solve for positive number how do we solve this we take the calculator and on calculator we do step 1 what was step 1 5049 divide by 13 you perform on calculator you will get the answer 388.15 then in step 2 you take this number before the decimal point and multiply it with 13 and check out what is the answer you get so we get 5044 then you do your standard modulus that is 5049 divided by 13 13 into 388 results in 5044 so the remainder here is 5 therefore minus 5049 mod 13 we got the answer as minus 5 because minus we had kept outside the bracket here so that comes back and mod 13 so how do we do minus 5 mod 13 so minus 5 mod 13 is performed by adding 13 as long as you get a positive answer and which is between 0 to b minus 1 in this case b is 13 so b minus 1 is 12 so we are getting a positive number and the number is between 0 to 12 therefore 8 is the final answer so minus 5049 mod 13 comes out to be 8 now all these calculations that you got you can also verify on the online calculators that are available so that you will get a confidence that you are solving the correct question so what you can do is you can go to google search and you can search modular arithmetic calculator once you do that you can check out your answers or any one of the calculator so i go here and i check whatever answers i want so let me say i want to check the answer of minus 255 mod 8 check out your answer the answer is one so likewise you can check whichever answer you want so the last question that we solved was 5049 mod with 13 so if you calculate you will get the answer as 8 which was the answer we got even after solving it manually so thank you guys for listening to my video i hope it gave you some knowledge about how to solve modular arithmetic i hope you learned the concepts if you have learned the concepts if you understood kindly click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel so thank you guys stay blessed stay happy